Hey guys, welcome to QT Drawings. Today I'll be drawing PJ Pugapillar from Poppy Playtime. I'll be drawing on my tablet, but you can also follow along on paper, and please remember to like and subscribe. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, let's first start off by drawing the head. Because the head's on an angle, I'm going to start by drawing an angled guideline to help me. You can choose to draw this, or you can leave this part out. Let's start off by drawing the nose here with a heart on an angle. Use the guideline to help you. And then from the sides, curves down like this. And then from the ends, let's curve it up. Next, let's move under the nose and we're going to draw a curve down and up like this. And the same thing on the left. Next at the ends, let's draw a curve here. Next, let's draw the bottom of the mouth with a large curve like this. And remember to use that guideline to help keep everything centered. Now let's hop back to the top and we're going to draw a large curve around each side. And then one more curve to close off the bottom of the mouth. Next, let's add the details inside. At the top here, let's draw a curve across. And then from the center, we're going to draw a tooth down to the right, and then one on the left. And then three more on either side, getting smaller as we go out. Next, let's draw the tongue at the bottom of the mouth. Let's start with a curve here, and then one more on the right. And lastly, let's color the inside of the mouth in black. And that's it for the mouth. Let's draw the eyes next. On the top left, let's draw a large oval shape that's slightly behind the nose like this. And then the same thing on the right. Now inside each eye, let's draw another oval. And then let's color each one in black. And that's it for the eyes. Let's draw the top of the head next. Let's start on the top left and we're going to draw a curve up and then back down to the other side. Now let's draw the fur around the head. Let's start at the very top here and we're going to draw a curve up and back down. And then a large curve over on the right. And then for the left, a curve over, and then a larger one like this. Now next to this one, let's bring it up and down, and then curve it down. Now let's move back up to the top right, and we're going to add two small curves. And then an S curve down, flicking it up, and then back down. 
Now I'm going to finish drawing the hair underneath the face like this. And then for the right side. Now let's add two more pieces of fur on either side of the head. Let's start on the top left and we're going to draw a curve here. And then a point up. Now two curves down. And then one more at the bottom to close it off. Now let's hop over to the right side and we're going to draw a small point up. A large curve. Then a smaller curve under. Another smaller one up. And then finish off the bottom like this. And that's it for the head. We can erase the guideline now. Now let's draw the body. Underneath the head on the left, let's draw a curve down. Then bring it up, and then two more bumps going down like this. Now hop back up under the right side of the head, and we're going to draw two bumps down. Then a curve up, two bumps going down, and then two small bumps on an angle here. Now in the gap we left, let's draw the leg and the foot. Let's start with the curve up and back down. Then under, we're going to curve it up like this for the top of the shoe. Now underneath the right side of the fur, let's bring a line down and then angle it up into the gap for the other side of the leg. Now let's draw a sideways U-curve for the top of the shoe here. Next, underneath, curve it down for the heel. Now let's close off the bottom of the shoe like this. And lastly, let's add a curve inside the bottom of the foot. And that's it for the leg and the foot. We can close off the fur on the left side now with one more curve. Let's add the next foot underneath on the left. Let's start with three points here for the fur. And then underneath, we're going to draw two diagonal lines down. And then close off the bottom like this. Let's add the shoe now. Let's start with the curve for the top of the shoe and then a curve down for the heel. Let's draw the top of the shoe now by drawing a curve out and flicking it up at the end. And then close off the bottom of the shoe like this. And that's it for the first section of the body. Let's continue drawing these over to the right. Let's start by drawing a small curve in between the head fur and the first body section here. Now move over to the right and we're going to draw a curve down and then another curve up. Now a large curve down, a small piece up, another curve in, and then finish off the bottom like this. Now let's draw the next leg and foot going down in the same way as we did before.
Now let's draw the next section of the body in the same way. You can copy mine or you can draw your own pattern. Now underneath on the right, let's draw three points for the leg fur. And again, let's draw the leg underneath. And then the shoe like this. And now let's do the next section in the same way. Now let's draw two more sections in the same way, but we're going to make them smaller as we go and curving them up slightly on the right. Now let's start curving the body up towards the left. And then two more sections here. Now underneath this section, let's draw a leg coming out underneath. And then another section on the left, like this. And a leg and foot under this one. And one more in the same way on the top left. And add a foot and leg under this one again.
Now let's continue making body sections, but we're going to curve it towards the right like this. Let's try to make each section smaller as we go. Now under these last two sections, let's add legs and feet. And now let's finish it off by adding a few more smaller sections on the top. And that's it for PJ Pugapillar. Now let's quickly color it in. And done. Hope you enjoyed drawing along with me. And please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.